Hello students. This is uh, 1.25. A point moves in the plane x y according to the law x equal to 80. Y equal to 81 minus alpha t. Where a and alpha are positive constants and t is time. Find the equation of the point's trajectory y x. Plot this function. Second part, the velocity and acceleration of the point is a function of time. And the final one, the moment t naught at which velocity vector forms an angle pi by 4 with acceleration back. For solving this problem first, the given condition, according to given condition, x variable, x coordinate of the particle is given as x equal to 80 and y coordinate is equal to 80, 1 minus alpha. So, for finding the trajectory, for finding the equation of trajectory, can obtain the value of t from first equation, it is uh, x by a and put this value of t in second equation, you will get y equal to a x by a and 1 minus alpha x by a. So equation of trajectory is equal to y equal to x into 1 minus alpha x over a. It is y equal to x minus alpha by a x square. So this is the equation of trajectory. So Equation of trajectory means we x or y ke beech mein relation create karna hai, time se independent relation. So if a point moves in the plane x y according to law x equal to 80 and y equal to 81 minus alpha t, then obtain the value of t from first equation, it is x by a, and put this value of t in second equation. You will get y equal to a x by a, 1 minus alpha x upon a implies that y is equal to this much and y equal to x minus alpha upon a x is. So this is the equation of point's trajectory y based on x. Now the second part, plot this function. Now we have to plot this function. So in a rough manner, in a rough way, here we see that this is a relation of 1 power and 2 power between x and y. So if there is a relation between 1 power and 2 power, then it represents a parabola. So this is, will be an equation of parabola. So for plotting this equation, if we put x equal to 0, add x equal to 0, y will be 0 implies that the path of the particle, the path of the trajectory will be started from origin, the starting one. It means origin will be a part of this trajectory because if we take x equal to 0, y will be 0. And since there is a negative sign before x square, just on the parallel of the coordinate section by elementary maths or physics, maybe discuss kiya hai ki agar kisi 1 power 2 power relation equation 2 power variable ke aage minus sign and then it represents a parabola with down phase. So this parabola will be plotted in this way. We can calculate uh, the highest point of this parabola in total range by this equation by range method. If we put y equal to 0, if we put y equal to 0, we will get what is the range of uh, this parabola. And for getting maximum height, we can differentiate y with respect to this. So maximum height and uh, this range can be obtained by this equation. So this is a rough plot of this parabola. So equation of points trajectory is this and plot of this function is this. This is the graph between x and y coordinate. Now the second part, the velocity and acceleration of the point as a function of time. We have to obtain velocity and acceleration. For getting the value of velocity, differentiate this first and second equation with respect to time. We will get dx by dt as a and dy by dt will become uh, applied product rule a is a constant and uh, t and differentiation of this is minus alpha the product rule we have to apply the product rule between the terms t and 1 minus alpha t a is a constant or product rule gets upset t first function and differentiation of second function plus second function and differentiation of first function differentiation of t is 1 so dy by dt will become a minus alpha t plus 1 minus alpha t. So it is uh, minus 2 alpha t, 1 minus 2 alpha t. So it is a 1 minus 2 alpha t. This is the value of dy by dt. So this dx by dt is uh, velocity x component and this is velocity y component. So velocity of the particle is a i along x axis, i is the unit vector along x axis plus a 1 minus 2 alpha t. Yeah. And for getting uh, the magnitude of this velocity vector, we can take the modulus of this much. If we take the mod of this, then velocity magnitude 
is equal to under root a square plus a square 1 minus 2 alpha t whole square. So this is velocity magnitude. Magnitude of velocity is under root a square plus a square 1 minus 2 alpha t whole square and the vector of velocity is this. Now by algebra you can solve this expression. Similarly for getting acceleration, the value of uh, the velocity and acceleration of the point. So again differentiate this equation with respect to time and uh, you will get dvx by dt equal to 0, dvx by dt equal to 0 and dvy by dt, dvy by dt equal to uh, constant again is there a one difference system is 0 minus 2 alpha. So acceleration, one component of acceleration is 0 and second is this. So ax is 0 and ay is this. So complete representation of acceleration vector is 0i plus minus sorry minus 2 a alpha g and modulus of this acceleration is root of it is under root of 0 square plus 2 a alpha whole square and by solving we get 2 a alpha so acceleration vector is 2 a alpha and its direction is minus j it means it is equivalent to gravity this term is equivalent to minus g in the case of a general projectile gravity so this is acceleration vector this is velocity vector of the particle now the last part the moment t naught at which velocity vector forms an angle pi by 4 with acceleration vector. You have to uh, obtain a relation in which velocity vector makes an angle pi by 4 with acceleration vector. So velocity vector and acceleration vector. For getting this condition we can use uh, the dot product between two vectors. Dot product between two vectors is uh, a dot b equal to a mod b mod cos theta. So by using this we can obtain the angle. Uh, the moment at which angle between the acceleration vector and velocity vector will be. So, एक बार हम इसको revise कर लेते हैं ताकि मैं इसको रब करके process आगे बढ़ा सकूं. Again, x is at, it is given, y is equal to this. For our first equation, t is x by, put this value of t in second, you will get this. This is the trajectory equation. Now, by this equation, we can see that the plot of this equation will be like this. This will be the plot. This will be the plot because uh, by this graph we can see that this is a parabola, 1 power 2 power relation and on taking x0 you will get y0 so it is passing through origin it is passing through origin besides it one point is also there it is passing through origin and since there is a minus sign y and x is y if the sign of these two terms is opposite to each other then definitely it will be a parabola with down phase so this parabola is like this now in second part velocity and acceleration so by differentiation we obtain this now the last part we have to calculate the moment we have to calculate the moment at which velocity vector forms an angle pi by 4 with acceleration now velocity vector makes an angle pi by 4 with acceleration vector for getting this condition let us use the relation we know that a dot v is mod of a mod of v into cos theta in time term, acceleration vector is minus 2a alpha j, minus 2a alpha j vector, dot velocity vector is a i plus a 1 minus 2 alpha t j, this is velocity vector, velocity vector is this, acceleration vector is this, this is vx and vy, this is v vector, this is a vector, so a dot v is a mod v mod cos theta minus 2a alpha j into a i plus a 1 minus 2 alpha t j is equal to modulus of a, modulus of a is 2 alpha and modulus of v it is under root of a square plus a square 1 minus 2 alpha t whole square and cos 45 because we have to obtain the moment where angle between velocity vector and acceleration vector will be pi by 4 so put pi by 4 in the place of angle on uh, making a dot product between the two we will get minus 2 alpha a 1 minus 2 alpha t equal to 2 a alpha a is common and root 1 plus 1 minus 2 a alpha whole square and cos pi of 4 is 1 by now this 2 alpha term is cancelled on both the sides a is also cancelled and the remaining part is minus this now by solving this equation we can obtain the value of time at which angle between velocity vector and acceleration vector will be there now कैसे करेंगे देख लीजिए बार माइनस वन प्लस टू अल्फा टी माइनस वन एंड माइनस माइनस प्लस टू अल्फा टी इक्वल टू अंडरवुड 
वन प्लस वन माइनस टू है अल्फा होल स्क्वायर एंड वन अपॉन रूट टेकिंग स्क्वायर ऑन बोथ द साइड्स वी विल गेट वन माइनस टू अल्फा टी होल स्क्वायर यू कैन टेक माइनस कॉमन इफ यू टेक माइनस कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस टू टर्म्स वी विल गेट दिस एंड ऑन टेकिंग स्क्वायर माइनस विल बी रिमूव्ड सो इट इज वन माइनस टू अल्फा टी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन प्लस वन माइनस टू ए अल्फा इट इज टू नो सॉरी इट इज टू अल्फा टी इट इज टू अल्फा टी इट इज टू अल्फा टी दिस टर्म इज टू अल्फा टी Whole square and this will become two. So two times one minus two alpha t whole square equal to one plus one minus two alpha t whole square. So two alpha one minus alpha t whole square one minus two alpha t whole square. So one minus two alpha t whole square equal to one. ये one मैंने वहाँ से two से minus किया ये बना. And in next line it will become my one minus two alpha t equal to plus minus one. Plus minus one since If we take plus one, we will get a time which will be zero. So minus one is an acceptable answer for that, and we will get two alpha t equal to two, and t will become one by alpha. So that particular time t not as one by alpha. So after one by alpha time, after time one by alpha, we can obtain a condition. We will get a condition in which velocity vector will make an angle pi by four with x axis. So this will be the third part of this problem. Now. तो इस पैराबोला के बारे में बता दें कि अगर हमें इस पैराबोला की इक्वेशन मालूम है तो इस रेंज को पता किया जा सकता है वाई को जीरो करके और इस पैराबोला की मैक्सिमम हाइट को पता किया जा सकता है उस पैराबोला के एक्स की वैल्यू को वाई का हाफ करके जैसे वाई को जीरो करके आप एक्स अचीव कर लेंगे और जब एक्स की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट हो जाएगी तो टोटल एक्स का आधा करके आपको ये मालूम चल जाएगा कि मैक्सिम हाइट किस एक्स के लिए होगी एंड इफ यू टेक दैट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन दैट इक्वेशन देन यू विल गेट द मैक्सिम हाइट तो पैराबोला का एनालिसिस भी किया जाता है और ये भी है इसका मोस्ट ऑफ़ द टाइम्स थैंक यू